in the 2013 Guillermo del Toro movie Pacific Rim. Pilots of giant fictional robots formed a neural bridge between one another to control their machines. That looked like sci-fi until very recently, when researchers in Germany measured the brain waves of sparrows who sing together. What they found is very surprising. It's bloody science. Scientists from the Max Planck Institute of Orthonology in Seewies in Germany wanted to figure out how a specific type of African bird coordinates its songs. White-browed sparrow weavers, which live in trees in southern and eastern Africa, are one of the planet's only bird species known to sing in duet. Birds that sing in duet are a rare phenomenon and occur mostly in the southern hemisphere, for unknown reasons. The majority of birds that do this sing highly complex tunes and show nearly a perfect degree of precision in their vocals. To measure this activity, miniature one-gram transmitters were attached to the birds' backs while they were in their natural habitat. The transmitters measured the brain activity of the bird pairs while they sung. Attaching the machines did not take long and did not impact the bird's social standing in the tree. In fact, when the researchers returned the bird to their tree, the neighboring birds sung and rejoiced. After recording over 600 duets, the team found that almost always the males began the song with a few syllables, and the partner joined after a brief intro. The birds sung in tandem without delay and almost always were perfectly coordinated. On average, duetting birds only had a quarter second delay between lines in their songs. The transmitters explained exactly what was happening in the birds' brains to allow for such perfect coordination. Within songbirds' brains, a network of nuclei called the vocal control system manages singing. A specific nuclei, known as HVC, was found to activate in both birds at the same time. First, the partner bird asks the lead if it will sing. Neuron activity changes in the lead, and it begins singing. The partner, which started the conversation, shows the same change in neuron activity. This effectively means that when in song, the bird's brains function as one due to the high level of synchronization. The neural link between birds was strong enough to stay connected even when there were gaps in the song or brief overlaps in singing. The male bird even showed the ability to start his line in a slightly different spot if an extra syllable was sung in the previous line by the partner. Think about that for a second. Even humans who sing together aren't able to change their lines on the fly if their singing partner messes up a line. To further test the flexibility of the vocal coordination, the researchers played back audio of duets that had been manipulated to the birds. In those experiments, the birds were highly agitated. When the scientists played back an unaltered version of the alternative male-female duet syllables with normal rhythm, the birds followed and sung at the appropriate times they were supposed to alongside the tape. For more information on the study, check out the description below. We started this channel recently because we felt the media wasn't covering new scientific discoveries closely enough, especially on YouTube. Subscribe to be kept up on future studies. Thanks very much for listening.